Welcome to Statics. The focus of this lesson is on basic vector operations. First, let's discuss the multiplication or division of a vector by a scalar. Make note of the convention shown here. A vector is denoted by a bold, typefaced capital letter. The scalar is denoted by a light, typefaced lower case letter. Let's say we are going to take a vector and multiply it by 2. The easiest way to understand this is to picture it graphically. If I have a vector, a, and it has a magnitude of 1.5 pounds, and multiply it by 2, the scalar stretches that vector to 3 pounds. It is still pointing in the same direction, but now it is twice as long as it was before. What happens if I multiply a vector by a positive number less than 1, or by a negative number? The fraction makes it smaller the negative number would change its sense or point its head in the opposite direction. Next, let's discuss the addition or subtraction of two vectors. As stated in an earlier lesson, we can't use the algebra methods we've learned for scalars when adding vectors. There are three methods we will learn for adding or subtracting vectors. The first two are semi-graphical methods that I will discuss in a moment. The third technique, Cartesian vector methods, will be discussed later. First, the parallelogram law. Now a vector resultant can be thought of as the vector created by the sum of two or more vectors. The resultant can be obtained using the parallelogram law by first joining the vectors at their tails graphically, as I show here with vectors a and b. Next, I construct a parallelogram by drawing a line parallel to vector a at the head of vector b and a line parallel to vector b at the head of vector a. I draw the new lines so they intersect, and I have a parallelogram. The resultant vector is the diagonal of the parallelogram, from the coincident tails of the original two vectors to the opposite corner. Triangle construction can also be used to find a resultant vector. Triangle construction will give the same result as the parallelogram law, just in a slightly different way. With triangle construction, I graphically join the vectors in a tip-to-tail fashion as shown. I start with vector A and place vector B so its tail is at the head of vector A. The resultant extends from the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. The following video will further address vector addition, as well as review some mathematical tools for calculating the resultant vectors using the two methods just discussed.